Hello, everyone. This is Mike Young with a plantbaseddiet.org, and we are here with a, with a special interview with Shara, who is our new director of music. And this is a, a timely interview because with everything going on with the coronavirus, we you know one of the things they say to boost your immune system is to reduce stress. And hopefully, we can find out how, if and how, music can do that. And Shara, why don't you first like start off just letting us know a little background about yourself and what you do. Thanks so much for having me, Mike. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to join your amazing team and thank you so much for all that you're doing for the vegan movement. It's so exciting. You're welcome. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been in music my whole life. I was brought up with musicians for parents. They were songwriters and my mom and dad met as um, she was his guitar student in the seventies and um, my dad's an incredible songwriter and um, I was brought up with music and started writing um, songs when I was 13 and performed all over and then got into the electronic dance music scene in my 20s mm -hmm. and started uh, producing music like that, um, house music and still doing that. I, I record a lot of vocals for producers um, all over the world, just had a release with uh, some brothers in France and um, working with some other people. So yeah, music is is a really huge deal for me, and I've helped throw events, um, uh, music events. So um, music is so important for our souls and our health and well-being, um, especially during this time. Um, it's extremely important that we all take time for ourselves right now. Mm -hmm. And when you're social distancing, it's actually a great and necessary time to focus on your health and well-being. Um, blast your favorite music, dance around the house, sing at the top of your lungs. You can literally feel your endorphins getting released. Yeah. And I would... <laughs> so endorphin release, but also stress reduction, right? I mean, if you're doing something you love, you're not going to be stressed out. Exactly. And that's, that's the whole point is to reduce your stress, which can actually boost your immune system, which is even more important with what we're going through right now. Mm -hmm. I was dancing around my house the other day to house music by myself, feeling a little weird with the sadness right now that's afflicting our planet, but yeah. I know that it was good for me and I just, it felt so good, so I highly recommend that. Um, right, well, does it does it matter the type of music? And actually, before we move on from the type of music, I want to mention like your name too, Shara. The way you the way you spell it, I guess you have like a cap another capital R at the end, right? And then a four, but it's pronounced Shara. It's it's kind of like I guess Dead Mouse, right? The same yeah. idea. I, I went and saw that. That's that's like I guess it's probably the most famous. A house music DJ type person, right? Uh, is, is that who that is? But but you're in a similar style, I guess. Not the same. Everyone's got their unique ways of doing things. But if anyone's seen your name spelled out, I just want to mention that's probably that's, is that why you did that in that manner? Yeah. So I mean, it was what 12 years ago now. I I I made that as my artist name. I was really in love with like hacker talk, where you use numbers as letters. Right. And um, I just thought that was so cool. And the number four means a lot to me. I just kind of like my lucky number. Um, got four siblings and um, it just made sense. So I know it can seem confusing, but it is just pronounced Shara and okay. just trying to be different. And Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like it. So, then, so, so you're into the, the more the EDM stuff. And does it matter? I mean, I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm assuming, I don't want to assume anything though, that's why I'm asking you, it doesn't matter what type of genre you're listening to, it's, as long as it's something that you connect with and that, that has a meaning to you? Yeah, exactly. It's whatever gives you those, those good feelings. Um, I did see something um, in my research about classical music um, being really good um, to listen to, to help you uh, reduce your stress and and relax more um, where was this yeah it was according to psych central listening to music can have a tremendously relaxing effect on our minds and bodies especially slow quiet classical music 
it can have a beneficial effect on our physiological functions, slowing the pulse and heart rate, lowering blood pressure, and decreasing the levels of stress hormones. So even if that's okay. not something you love, you know, that might be worth trying, um, you know, in, in addition to whatever gets you going and your blood flowing, you know, we all have different tastes. True. It's probably also an escape too. A lot of times when you listen to a particular music a song or whatever, it brings back memories, right? That you wouldn't get any other way. I've heard of people who are suffering from dementia or Alzheimer's or something, and then someone puts on a song, right? And all of a sudden it just clicks with something in their brain that they, that happened to them in the past. And, and they're like a different person for that, for that, for that song anyway, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's incredible. Like how music can stick with us like that. And people who have lost their memory, but music, the melodies and the lyrics are still in that brain somewhere. Right. It's incredible. Music is so incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm glad that, so it doesn't really matter what, type, I mean, I don't know, maybe there are there some types of music you should avoid. I don't know that are, if you're trying to de-stress, I mean, are there some types of music that I don't know, just like heavy metal or something. And I don't even know, but I, that's something I would necessarily listen to to relax. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless you're like a huge fan of it, I mean, I would definitely avoid it, but you know, Okay. If, if that makes you happy, maybe that gets you jumping around the house and feeling good and not nervous and feeling aggressive because you're listening to it, then, <laughs> yeah. then have at it. But I do recommend trying, you know, to listen to something more relaxing too and see how that feels. Okay. And for people that have not heard your music, because I've, until I met you, I had not heard your music and I listened to it and I, and I really like it because I'm, I'm, I definitely am into a lot of the EDM stuff nice. but if someone hasn't listened to yours how would you describe it like what are you what are you what's your idea with your music i mean how can you describe it in words i know it's, it's best if you listen to it but how can you describe it yeah well i've i've definitely branched off more now um i'm open to um creating more music i actually started out re recording or composing piano ballads and just singing at the piano and I'm actually going back to that more now. I'm working right. with a music, I'm working with a music company right now that looks for singer songwriter type material. So hmm. I just wrote a song in a couple of days for it. Um, okay. And it's really beautiful, but I, I haven't released that yet. And um, I wrote a song for my dad who passed away just about saying, you know, you're not far away, hmm. even though you pass on. Um, so I'm working on getting that released, but Mostly right now, all my music online is like, is house music is basically the genre. Yeah. Um, I just had a tropical house song release called Summer Waves, where I just wrote and recorded the vocals for that. It's a producer in Montreal and people are really loving that. It's like real feel good type music with congas and stuff. So, okay. Um, and then I have a, a new deep house song coming out um, with the brothers in France, Arson and Cyan, which is really cool. So how, how, how far off is that from being released? What's well, the release day? I think it's in May. I have to look. Um, so I do have one coming out in April, another Deep House song I did vocals for, for someone. I think he's in Russia. It's so cool. It's amazing that music can bring us together like this and just mm -hmm. over email. And I'm, you know, you're able to work with people all over the world. I'm so blessed. So, so how are you doing this? Because this is like a form of social distancing or what I call proximity optimization, especially right now when you're, when you're trying to keep six feet away or more from people. You know, have you composed and done all the work? I don't know what word you're using, if composing is the right word, with these people in other countries online? Have you met in person? Like, how, how does that work? Yeah, it's all online. Um, they'll email me a song without vocals, and then I get my little notepad out and listen to it a bunch of times and write and write down the lyrics, and then... And then I recorded my own little studio here um, right. and come up with harmonies and stuff. And then I send it their way. I hope they like it. And 
if they do, they take it and put it in the song and rearrange it if they want. Um, so so uh, your, your parents who are musicians growing up in the 70s, like you said, they probably could never envision this type of musical work that you're doing right now. I know. <laughs> yeah, not at all. <clears throat> I have my dad's old <clears throat> four track recorder that like literally the Beatles use this type of recorder and that's why he taught me that when I was 13 a little reel and I'm like pushing the record button and stuff yeah. and yeah. I have him to thank for teaching me that and I really wish he was here and I could show him yeah I'm sorry yeah. Like. yeah but I, I think also just like a lot of things with the internet I think the the long the concept of the long tail comes into play where like so many there's so many it's almost unlimited possibilities hardly anyone's doing them but you can connect with those people because of the internet, because that's mature now. And that's, so you're connecting with musicians that you probably never would have connected with in previous times. Right. Exactly. We're, we're so blessed. I do not take this for granted. I am so grateful every day for technology and the internet. I mean, Oh my gosh, it opens so many doors and connects you with so many people. And that's so important right now. And, Yes. We need to just, you know, embrace technology right now and play it safe and just stay okay. away from people. Well, speaking of technology, where can people hear you, your music? Where can they find out about what, what you have to listen to? Well, you can go to my website, sharamusic.com. That's spelled S-H-A-R number four, music.com. Mm -hmm. And um, I've got releases on beatport.com, iTunes, Amazon. Um, Amazon, it comes up if you search Char for music. Um, that brings up all the releases. So, right. Yeah. And also live, too. We hope that you're going to be uh, you know, playing some music for us at Mountain Veg Fest that we're doing. And that's our next festival. We've had to cancel three other ones in front of that. We're hopeful that everything will have stabilized by then. And so we're planning for this event to happen in July. It's not going to be till the 11th, I believe, Saturday. Yeah. So you'll be there, and that'll be a great place to see you in the New England area. Yeah, I, that's my plan. I, I would love to perform a couple songs on, on the piano. And um, yeah, I'd love to. My next big DJ gig is in Providence, Rhode Island. That's been moved from April to July 11th, actually. I'll be running from okay. the fest down to Rhode Island. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. Well, Providence is a nice place. Um, I, I visited there, and they've got that new plant-based mall over there. Um, oh my God, Plant City. That's it. That's it. Yep. The most amazing place I've ever been. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, is so. the future of the world, right there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And then, and and then you, of course, are are a, a, a correct me if I'm wrong, like a vegan musician. Uh, let's say right. Yes, hundred percent. Right, so make sure, yeah. So everything you do kind of follows in lines with those, with that, with that lifestyle and those, those patterns of thought of doing the least harm. And especially right now, you know, I've had, we've, I've been doing a lot of these different interviews, and there's, there's no denying the connection between animal agriculture and the development of these types of viruses that we're seeing right now. So we hope that there's an awakening going on, and that people are considering new ideas, and you know. Actually, give me an idea too. Just because you are a vegan musician, does this mean that if you have lyrics in your songs that they, they revolve around these concepts, or is it, you know, or do you have lyrics in your song, or so, only some of them do, right? Yeah, I actually I would love to work on um, a song that's specifically about fighting for the animals and the planet. I did compose one song called "Shine Our Light," which is a along those lines along those lines like shine our light help me fight fight hate with love um so i'm that's definitely on the agenda and i would love to connect with more vegan musicians i've been messaging a couple of vegan djs i know okay. um this, this, this video will kind of get that get that process moving folks will see this video and know how to connect with you and who knows what might uh, develop from that Thank you. I would love that. It's, yeah. it's incredible. We've got to connect and, you know, together we can really help this movement take off. And it already is, you know, it's, it's so incredible to be a part of. And I just joined the movement 
what four years ago roughly mm -hmm. and um it's for me kudos to anyone that's been doing this like since the 80s like i mean it's so easy to be a vegan now we eat True. so many meaty things like it, we literally eat everything we used to pretty much you know like the real heroes are the vegetarians and stuff in the 70s and 80s right pioneers wow incredible true true so okay so to so sum it all up basically your 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 belief here is that music is almost like a therapy in terms of your stress levels right and and this is something that it's just a, one of the many techniques but it's probably one that we know works as long as you find the type of music that connects with you and you enjoy it i mean that's just gonna it's gonna help with your immune system at a time like this and that's what people are wanting to do so and maybe check out your music maybe your music is going to be you know what what some individuals out there are really searching for so. yeah i hope so i think so i know it makes a lot of people happy currently and um you know like i was just going to mention that it's been so amazing to see italians singing on their balconies djs even per performing sets on their balconies and musicians playing together while they're locked away basically like i keep getting chills here they are stuck in their homes and what do they do they turn to music to heal and have fun i literally keep getting goosebumps i'm half italian and was brought up with musicians including opera lovers so music holds a special place in my heart and seeing italians be affected like this and turning to music like oh i just i get tears this is on the internet you're seeing like people playing on the internet as a result. Yeah, I'll okay. have to show you that link. Oh my gosh, they just go out on their balconies and they're singing harmonies together, like their national, their anthem and and then a keyboardist, he's playing and then a guy down the, the street on his balcony is playing with a saxophone, like together just, uh, it just warms my heart and yeah. makes me cry at the same time. It's so beautiful, you know, music yeah, is so healing. Yeah, it's, um, it's all, all kinds of good things develop out of these things that we wish never happened. And hopefully that's what people are focusing on. And um, not only the good things that pop out of here, but just the lessons that we need to learn too, so that we don't get into these situations again with viruses, you know, and, exactly. and, and good habits too. I think that, I think that just listening to music, li music that really connects with you and having that as part of your, your own life is only going to benefit you you know, uh, your, your mental state and of course, reduction in stress level. <laughs> so exactly. I wanted to mention this, um, study from the heart math Institute. They were able to literally show a positive impact music has on our immune systems. Their study suggest suggests that the use of music in conjunction with techniques for emotional self-management can be a practical inexpensive and non-invasive method to enhance immunity. Such interventions may yield significant health benefits, both in healthy individuals and in a variety of clinical conditions. It's just it's, incredible. Yeah, uh, there, there, this is this is. It. I think I think everyone intrinsically just kind of knows this in the back of their mind because everybody has music that they love that they connect with, and um, it's just a matter of getting a study out there. Like it sounds like that's what that was that that shows it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's incredible. And, you know, lastly, I want to just recommend meditating during this time, mm. um, you know, putting good vibes out there in the universe. Yeah. And, um, also, you know, just shutting your brain off. Um, you know, I have a hard time doing that. So I've been trying to... I've been trying to make more of an effort, you know, every night I roll my yoga mat out in front of my little stove, I light some candles, incense and Put relaxing new age music on and try to just escape um it's really important for us especially now sounds like a very good plan okay well hopefully folks out there who are watching will take some of this advice and we just want everyone to be healthy really and do the best that they can because you're going to enjoy your life more you're going to have more fun and we just can't wait till this this crisis this pandemic is over but in the meantime get out your favorite music right and and enjoy that's what this is that's what the, the bottom line is i guess about our conversation here that's it use music as a tool to heal it works i promise okay thank you so much thank you mike